<laughs> okay, okay, stop, cut, no, we're not doing this. We're not werewolves, we're high wolves. <laughs> we're fueled by inquiry. Yeah. And bloodlust. And bloodlust. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Welcome to the podcast, you little bitches. We're taking psycho tests. Yeah. We haven't been on in a while. And I don't fucking care. There's no excuse. Uh that I want to give any of you, so. Feel I mean, pretty much. Sorry, not sorry. Mm. My spine hurts. I'm We're finishing also... my, my metamorphose into a shrimp. And nice. soon I will not be able to do these podcasts anymore. I will just, it'll, my voice will come out in shrill shrimp sounds. Yeah, she's being shellfish. Um, she's going to lay around all day eating sediment and looking at colors that we don't get to see. Yeah. Fucking. And some people don't see. (laughs) 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 I don't see these things. Um, After we take the uh, psycho test, we're also going to take a DNA test to find out if we're 100% that bitch. Mm. I already took that test. Answers. Yes. (laughs) Shit. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Here's your first question. Most would describe me as charming and nonchalant. I can turn mm. my charm on and off like a faucet. So you got three <laughs> choices here. Not me. This describes me somewhat. This is definitely me. Oh, God. Somewhat, I would say. Looking I chat. have my moments. I have my moments. I definitely... Don't always choose to use charm. I do what I want, when I want, the moment the (laughs) impulse strikes me, regardless of what others want. Mm. Hmm. Same three choices. Okay, I promise I'm not going to do this for every question, but I'm pretty in the middle there. What, this describes me somewhat? Yeah, somewhat. All right. Because, like, it's only in some categories for me. In other categories, I'm like, what do my peers think? Yeah. But if something goes, what? Yes? That's, that's definitely not most categories. <laughs> yeah. um, if something goes wrong or turns out badly, it's not my fault. <laughs> well, that depends I'm on if it's kill my you. fucking You better fault. fucking... You better fucking. (laughs) (laughs) What type of fucking question is that? Like, I don't know what things they're talking about. If it's something that went wrong. Are you just like gut punching a Doritos bag right now or something? (laughs) No. (laughs) No, I was was washing my hands. I had no idea you could hear that. I definitely wasn't (laughs) unprofessionally digging into a bag of chips. (laughs) I'm going to fucking kill you. (laughs) Okay, maybe we should take the Am I a Fat Ass test instead. (laughs) I think we should, even though I might already know the answer. Can you read that question again? So this is basically a statement on someone's feelings. If something goes if something goes wrong or turns out badly, it's not my fault. That's not me. So this is the epitome of when you're on USA jobs and you're like, yes, I am not I am not terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do God. not I do not hate US. No, I, I don't know why I'm using an accent. I don't know why, like, all of a sudden I'm like an Italian vampire. I apologize. Vampires are terrifying, so maybe uh. I think they're just <laughs> they're, they're little bitches that are scared of the sun. And why doesn't the moon hurt them? Because the moon reflects the sun's light. Okay, anyway, fucking <laughs> whatever. All right, I've gotten into legal or criminal trouble as an adult. Not 
just speeding or parking ticket. You know, I don't think that would make you a psycho. Yeah. <laughs> Plenty of those like, people are never fucking di- like never caught until yeah, well, like they kill like, a city like, of people. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was gonna say I've never been caught, but that doesn't mean I haven't done hella illegal shit. <laughs> True. Some of the stuff we build as kids. Yeah. Or that one time I got pulled over for uh, driving while sexy. Ooh, I'm pretty sure that was driving while suspended. That's what DWS stands for, my dude. <laughs> what? No, no, no way. Yeah. No, that's yes way. <laughs> All right. Intro. So you gonna answer this shit or what? Um, I have not gotten into major legal trouble on the books. That's what it's asking. I don't care so, if you've yeah. done shit that hasn't been on the books. Yeah, dude. I just answered the question. Fucking yeah. Well, that's not. You still have the three choices. Not me. This describes me somewhat. This is definitely me. Right. Not, I said not me. Oh, I've done something <laughs> for your books. Oh, <laughs> not not me legally. You'll have to hear from my lawyer. Um, also, if this is the way you're going to run the podcast tonight, I need to do some more cocaine. I mean, I need to. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Take this test. I'm gonna wow. fucking tell Craig to leave. Don't do it. <laughs> Gabriel, <Kinda> wait. <laughs> no. <laughs> Craig, wait. No, let the boy watch. Um, <laughs> um, I am easily the best at what I do, bar none. Nobody could ever take my place. That's definitely me. What do you do? <laughs> I sit around being a piece of shit all day. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. Uh, <laughs> I do whatever I feel like doing, and I don't care what other thinks or even if it's illegal. I'm just going to say, so far, mm. all of the questions that are being answered slash asked here, I just sound like we're building up to an 80s crime-fighting character's profile, like Roadhouse. <laughs> Patrick, Swayze char- Patrick Swayze's character in Roadhouse. He's like, <laughs> maybe I shot a man. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I was dirty dancing. <laughs> I'm gonna find out. <laughs> fucking shoots that guy that gets out of the fucking river yes. for almost <laughs> no reason. <laughs> you know what? He does whatever he feels like doing, and he doesn't care what other thing, others think, even if it's illegal. <laughs> I like no. to bang chicks that have. Boob jobs, so the boobs don't go anywhere. <laughs> that was a weird movie. I felt so bad when I saw that lady topless. I was like, yikes. <laughs> oh. They look like those, um, those dots. You know the candy called dots? <laughs> That's what they look like. Yeah, just not as colorful. God. Um, or maybe I just wasn't seeing color. <laughs> so is this a psychopath test or a, a high schooler test? I mean, yeah, I know <laughs> what's the difference, but True. holy shit, these all just sound like edgy 16, 17 year olds that haven't been told no enough. Who are you? Um, yeah, so <laughs> you gotta tell me you gotta tell me your answer. Um no, that's not me. <laughs> Every person for themselves. I don't see the point in feeling sorry for other people and have no desire to help others. Now you just sound like the typical edgy anime character who's like, mm, mm-hmm, hmm. I was literally getting they ready to say that. I was like, anyway, because they're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that character that wears red and black and <laughs> <laughs> doesn't doesn't want to help, but is always there and always helps. <laughs> you know, you guys are stupid. It's like, why are you following me around? <laughs> <laughs> no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, you're gonna go find the guy that killed your dad. I don't give a fuck about that. You're stupid. I'm gonna okay. follow you to the ends of the earth just to make sure you know that. <laughs> uh, so what do you think? What do you what do you what do you think? <laughs> that's um, that's not exactly me. No, that's not me. That ain't me. I've gotten into legal or criminal trouble. I think this test is literally just trying to find out if you committed a crime. Like, gotcha, bitch. <laughs> nice try, fed voice. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking 
NSA agent. <laughs> um, let's see. <laughs> I've gotten into legal or criminal trouble when I was a teenager. Not just a parking or speeding ticket. Well, yeah. When I was a teenager, I got indecent exposure for that time I went streaking at the pep rally. But you know what? That was bullshit. It was bullshit. If I, I could go back the... in time and just like, show up in the field with my car and run over the principal, I would take the spotlight, number one. Two, uh, it belongs to me. Two, <laughs> fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah. I, Three, I put... there were people there less dressed than you. They just did yeah. it because you weren't a jock and you didn't have a teacher that you were sucking their dick. Yeah, for real. Um, I put at least one layer of duct tape over the really provocative stuff. <laughs> Taking the duct tape but off should be the only fucking... In general are not provocative. Or maybe I'm just... <laughs> I have no soul. <laughs> I see Look, anybody's junk and I'm like, Ugh. My body is quite provocative. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were a lady. Dang, you can cover them nips always. <laughs> Endlessly. Yeah, Never dude. allowed to see them, even though they don't do anything like pee-pees do. <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine. You can oh. show the whole boob, just not the nips. So stupid. <laughs> so can you imagine... <laughs> If that logic like went both ways, like I could show everyone my whole wiener, just not the little bit at the end. Like, See, that's the thing. It shouldn't be something that's equally compared to a, showing someone's genitals because boobs well, yeah. aren't genitals. Right. Boobs don't make right. babies. Right. But the way they treat it. True. Yeah. You know, so given their rationale, <laughs> I should be able to show everyone my whole winky as long as I put my finger over the end bit there. <laughs> well, no, I'm gonna be honest. If you watch that music video, every day I'm shuffle or I'm sexy and I know it by whatever that guy's name is. Uh, that yeah. video, he's wearing a speedo so tiny when he like pushes his pelvis forward, you can see everything swinging. Yeah, dude. and you can only see or... the outline of that thing, and you're like, no one's upset. <laughs> <laughs> I'm upset. <laughs> I don't want to see this. I like those things. I use those things. <laughs> and I don't like oh, seeing man. that. <laughs> For real. Or it's like if you watched Labyrinth in Blu-ray, you can <laughs> see his fucking glandus, my guy. <laughs> I don't like watching it in high quality. Partly because it's like those are totally long dance. They're not even like Jazzercise spandex, which were available at the time. They're literally <laughs> like long underwear. And you're like, I'm so confused. <laughs> I thought you were supposed just, to be a prince, but you're literally just a, a hobo that could only afford the cool leather jacket from Hot Topic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's hot. Oh so it's God. whatever, right? He's David Bowie. Even guys were like, I'm questionably turned on right now as, mm. a, child, as a child. Oh, yeah. Agreed. No, I, I feel the same way. I can attest. <laughs> so have you gotten into legal or criminal trouble when you were a teenager? Yes. Described you somewhat, definitely me. Like, what? Come on. Yes. Okay, not me. Let's go. No, I, I, said, no I, I said, I said that's me. I said yes. Yeah, he said that's me, but that's not one of the answers. You got three choices, you son of a bitch. Jesus fucking Christ! I can't paraphrase. I have to say no, exactly what it says. Oh my God. <laughs> I well. Don't. No. Since I'm not looking at the answers, tell me which letter's capital That's so I can me. fucking pronounce it right. Jesus. This describes me somewhat. This describes me. You fucking piece of shit. <laughs> when I was a teenager, I got in legal trouble other than a parking ticket. Okay, Get so fucked. you need to be, this is definitely me. This describes me somewhat or not me. Well, this is definitely me. Like, there's no Fine. maybe if, if you broke the law or not. Yeah, but like not a bunch. When I I feel like this is definitely me is like the kind of kid who was like my my neighbor had a PlayStation too, so I broke in the house and fucking took it. Well, I mean, I was a prostitute and I cut a dude's neck. Fucking, I don't know what you want. I need straight answers from you. You're not a psychopath and you're not a sociopath. You're just a compulsive liar. <laughs> you know, son of a the bitch. Last the last person that called me a liar felt pretty Ooh. fucking stupid when I flew away on my giant bald eagle, but whatever. <laughs> Did they happen to be George Washington? 
<laughs> George <laughs> Washington. I beat that guy at arm wrestling years ago. There's no way he would come near me. Cancer. I'm choosing the sun that describes me. <laughs> okay. You gave me the steering wheel. Fuck you. I didn't actually, but you took it. So <laughs> I guess Maybe that makes I you Jesus. Jesus. Fucking Jesus, take the wheel. I have no problem or concern in lying in order to get what I want. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Depends on what I want. <laughs> this somewhat free. describes me. What? Nothing. <laughs> what did you say to me? <laughs> Nothing. You have to listen to the podcast. <laughs> I definitely was washing my hands and not about to eat some chips. God damn it. Oh my God. Live in the moment is what I say. The future will take care of itself and learning from your past is pointless. That just sounds stupid. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a winning strategy. That definitely does not describe me. <laughs> I never feel remorse, shame, or guilt about something I've said or done. About things I've said? Sure, but mm, things I've done, no way. So I guess that somewhat describes me. All these things that I've done. Hey, last question. No, this is not a thorough test. <laughs> I don't see the point in taking on responsibility of any kind. They just weigh you down. <laughs> I mean, it just sounds like an anime character. It's just stupid. Only, only a psychopath would think it's okay to answer any of these with those with fucking. This definitely yeah. yeah, fucking. Um, so yeah, no, that definitely does not describe me at all. All right, let's get results. Jesus. Your results. No psychopathy. Uh, <laughs> your total score was seven out of twenty-four. <laughs> that test definitely sucks because I'm That's pretty sure seven I'm a psycho. Too much, though. You answered the quiz consistent with people who would not generally be considered a psychopath by research methods currently used to quickly screen for psychopathy in the population. Wow, it, man, I hope you guys use that same score to find anybody. Um, <laughs> <laughs> did you steal his car? No. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fucking for real. No like, follow up. Why is it in your yard? No. If I was a psychopath and I've made it this far, why in the fuck would I answer any of those honestly? Exactly. Well, <laughs> and that's the thing. So, could you imagine being interviewed by a police officer and you only used those three responses? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> that's <laughs> right. somewhat me. <laughs> You're sitting there covered with blood. <laughs> You're sitting there covered with blood. That's definitely not me. And they're like, well, fuck. Okay, have a good day. So we're just going to have to call it a wrap. <laughs> I'm sure there's someone else that we picked up for weed that we can blame this charge for. Um, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Um, yeah, so where were you on July 12th at 4.07 p.m.? That's definitely me. <laughs> <laughs> we got him. It says here on your ID, you know, you're you you're six four and you're this and you're that. Not me. <laughs> nice. All right, common myth. While many people believe that psychopathy is more prevalent among CEOs and Wall Street bankers, this is a myth, not supported by any research. <laughs> Bezos, you son of a bitch. Uh, while on the surface it may seem that many of the symptoms and traits of psychopathy lend themselves to positions of great, greater power, the two are not synonymous. I, you know, I'm happy that they said something like that because everyone's always like, well, we need someone who's kind of a psycho to make executive decisions. And you're like, well, not necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> One of the problems is that psychopaths tend to be pretty quickly outed for their antisocial behaviors because the charm is purely superficial and easily detected over time with greater exposure to the psychopath. Congratulations for not being a psychopath today. Oh yeah. Well, what if I answer a bunch? I wonder if we went back and we just answered that's definitely me to everything. If they would just be like, stay right where you are. <laughs> nice. For real. Okay, the helicopter. <laughs> Do what? Why do people become psychopaths? 
Hmm, oh, it's asking me to find a therapist. Good time. Hmm. Would you like me to? Of... Would you like me to read you a test? Yeah. Okay. It's wrong to cheat because it's unfair to other people. Now you have four choices: completely agree, somewhat agree, somewhat disagree, completely disagree. So I'm not sure what context it means cheat, but I, I definitely, I completely agree. Fucking don't cheat, man. What the fuck? Yeah, it's wrong to cheat, and it is unfair to other people. So you completely agree? Yeah. For the record, I completely agree, too. It's, like, really my only rule, actually. Oh, wait, fuck, hold on. Oh, god damn it. Okay, completely agree. Got it. Okay. <clears throat> my primary life goal is to get as many nice things as I can. I disagree completely. Right, it was like, I completely agree, somewhat agree, disagree, you know, completely disagree. Right, right. So at the end of the day, it's completely agree, completely disagree, and then two on either end of like, somewhat. So like the middle of the gray area. I'll say I'll somewhat disagree, like... Obviously, you do want some nice things in your life. If you say that you don't, then yeah, I don't know. I think that's logical. Like some and people want a nice house, question mark, and yeah. a nice family. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want all things that are nice. I just want to be comfortable for the most part now. Yeah. When it comes to some hobbies, yeah, I guess I've got expensive tastes, but I don't think they're objectively nice. You're not nice. Yeah, <clears throat> that's true. I'm not nice. It would be distressing if I succeeded because someone else failed. No, that wouldn't distress me. Dang, completely disagree. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Cold, heartless. No, I'm just kidding. I'm the same. I mean, I yeah, that's kind of interesting. I wonder what they mean by that. That's yeah, like some sort like, of weird guilt thing going right, on. Right, yeah, like in, in order to win the lottery, everyone else has to lose. So yeah, like, I mean, yeah. That's just kind of like how that works. Yeah. Okay, to succeed is the only thing that matters, and people who fail are not my problem. I don't agree with that at all. It sounds like a douchebag statement. I just feel like I should be wearing white sunglasses and a hat. Right, yeah. And a relatively like, loose-fitting tank top. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Driving, driving one of those new plastic Jeeps. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Totally. That's like some like marketing dude would say, would say that. Yeah. With his blue suit and his brown shoes. Fucking idiot. Ooh. All right. Financial success is my top priority. Not really. Not entirely. Somewhat disagree? Yeah. Yeah, same. Definitely for me. I, I mean, mean I obviously. I would covered in tattoos if I didn't like money, but, you know. Yeah. Dude, I'm totally broke. I like money, but it just hates me, so. <laughs> Morality is for other people, and I care mainly about what is right for me in the moment. Someone <laughs> disagree. For real. Like, okay. I get it. Like, you gotta take care of you, but, like, at the same time, just be like, <laughs> nah. <laughs> Reject human. Go back to monkey. <laughs> Fucking, back like, to monk. what type of question is that? <laughs> Go back to monk. It's literally like the thing on like a security claims thing. It's like, are you a terrorist? You're like, <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> you want to yeah. see what happens. Like, sorry, right. we can't hire you, dude. We've got a strict policy. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, your application looked good, but it says here that you're a terrorist, and uh, <laughs> that's a bit of a conflict of interest, I guess. Even though we terrorize you guys into buying things and paying taxes. Ew. Ooh, uh-oh. <laughs> mm. 
Oops, they get closer and closer each time. A fraudulent scheme can be really impressive if it's particularly clever. I don't know. It just depends on who the victims are. Hmm. Only if there's a double cross and then a subvert of expectations. <laughs> Fucking Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking son of a bitch, I'm in. <laughs> son of a bitch. I don't fucking know. I don't know how to answer that one. Answer it for me. Okay. Yeah, I answered it for you. Thanks. Anything good? <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. Answer that question for me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> anything, anything goes as long as I come out on top or achieve my goals. Nah, dog. It can't be anything goes. Yeah, dude, anything is pretty strong word with as fucked up as people can get. Yeah. <laughs> and the next thing you know, you're wearing your neighbor as a snowsuit. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I mean, yeah, no, that is messed up. <laughs> <laughs> you all right? <laughs> what the hell type of nap did you take? <laughs> <laughs> One that didn't make the pain go away. <laughs> so you woke up alive I get it <laughs> so I'm guessing what? you completely disagree with that yeah it's just fucking dumb anything goes what is this Super Smash Brothers <laughs> free for all free, 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 free. <laughs> <laughs> fucking P <laughs> Next. Next. <laughs> Your character, sad lady who's got a shrimp body. <laughs> click on my icon. I just go. <laughs> oh my god! I think we all know that I'm basically just Mr. Game and Watch all the time. I was telling someone at work for some reason that was like a point of conversation before meeting started, and they're like, "I like playing blah blah blah," and I was like, "My brother." Is always Game and Watch, no matter what. <laughs> and they were like, "Yeah." I was like, "Really?" Uh, yeah, no matter what. <laughs> yep. The only time that I'm not Game and Watch is when I'm Jigglypuff. Jambo. 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 <sighs> Hell yeah! Oh, this is gonna be a fun one. You're gonna have such a hard time answering this one. I can <laughs> justify anything as long as I don't get caught. <laughs> I mean, they're not wrong. Uh, you're only, what did Aladdin say? You only trip if you got. And he's like, gotcha. And he goes, nah, I just want to. Good times. Uh, no, I can't just buy anything. That's, God, that word is so broad. Yeah, it was dude, only, anything. It was only a closet full of babies. Um, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Exactly. Like, do they. <laughs> Whoever made this test, do they actually think what no means, or are they so like vanilla that they just assume like, huh, if I miss the trash can, I won't pick it up. <laughs> I feel like this is one of those tests. Like back in the day, I used to take a lot of quizzes to be like, find out which animu character are you a scene girl or you a goth girl, which I'm sure still exists. <laughs> it it well, was like clearly knew what answers to pick to get the answer you wanted. Yeah, I will never forget the first one I took where it asks you a bunch of random questions. I'm like, wow, that's interesting. How is it going to, you know, psychoanalyze my answers? And then it was legit just like out of all the options for the possible outcome for this test, which one's your favorite? And I was just like, what? <laughs> it was like, I like you a lot. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. But this is the shit. So I like how, you know, you take these tests and they're like, Disclaimer, this does not really say anything definitive about you. This is just for fun. However, this is legitimately the test people take to get a job at Sam's Club and Walmart and you know, oh, fucking is, is Dish. Oh, that the one we're talking right now? Um, no, no, but they literally give you a fucking stupid test with, like, answers <laughs> that could be interpreted either way, but they've got their way. And <laughs> it's like, 
Oh, sorry. Um, it said if you were a flavor of ice cream, you'd be strawberry. So you're not on our team. Like, dude, you know what though? Not everyone can have a job. <laughs> fucking Jesus! It's so, so stupid. Oh my god! Holy, oh my god! Ah, um. I wanted a nice part-time job to what? make some. I wanted a nice part-time job to make some supplemental income in addition to my other jobs. Mm-hmm. So I went to a Sam's Club that was really close to where I lived and was like, yo, you guys need a tire jerk? And they're like, hell yeah, we do. I was like, cool. Uh, let me apply. I'll change tires. It's fucking simple. And they were like, oh, no, sorry, you got to take the test. So I got to go on Walmart and take a test. And the tests weren't anything about changing tires or working in a shop. They were about like merchandising and being a manager at Walmart and what flavor ice cream you would be. <laughs> well, I'm sure I'm sure they asked you, are are you a man? Because only a man can be a manager. Because if <laughs> a kid could call be it... a manager, yeah. they'd call it Kidinger. You understand? Now, see, it? You understand? <laughs> right, and that's when I knew. That's when I knew that they weren't taking this seriously because they didn't ask that. Anyone <laughs> to come, anyone ask you that. Yeah, <laughs> um, I'm not <laughs> sure. God. So I took the test, by the way. Because I'm a manager and a key holder at a store somewhere else. And I'm also a security officer um, who's, you know, basically manager of my site. And I take the fucking test and they're like, nah, dude, you failed. And I'm like, how much did I fail by? What did I fail? Why did I fail as an adult who's, you know, trying to better themselves? No, they're, like, the they're like, call this number. Like, All right. So I call the number. I'm like, yeah, um... Why did I fail? And they were like, excuse me, what? And I was like, well, why did I fail? I'm trying to, you know, f- you know, like, what, what like, <laughs> trying to coach myself here. I'm trying to become a better worker so I can work for an establishment as noble as <laughs> Walmart. Um, and they were like, um, yeah, no, we're not telling you. And I was like, all right, well, <laughs> you know, y'all keep hiring and firing people and wonder why. Yeah, it's crazy. It's just wow. another step in the process so they can just tell people no. Yeah, no, so not. you completely disagree with justifying anything as long as you don't get caught, right? I somewhat disagree. Ooh, uh-oh. <laughs> note to self, watch out for Mar. If you're just now making that note. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not just now making that note, but I I'm wanted the audience crying. I wanted the audience to feel like we were sharing a moment. Because I'm sure they were all saying that. Um, if someone is foolish enough to get tricked, they probably had it coming. Wow. Okay. Up, but like <laughs> I somewhat disagree. Yeah, for real. There's sometimes yeah. where like when you're like Watch me stick my arm in this alligator. Well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> right, right. Or like those dudes that let their friend shoot a firework out of their butt or whatever. Like, yeah, they they're like, I got my going. balls burned there now. Crispy yeah. chicken nuggets. Yeah. For real. But like, if you go to another country and you get tricked into walking into a gypsy camp and you get your neck cut, I really don't think you necessarily had that coming. Not have that coming now. That's <laughs> yeah. really up right exactly like so again these people are painting with such a broad brush (laughs) um okay so i would not lie even if it got me what i wanted i somewhat agree Mm. sometimes you have to lie to like if someone is I'm well, I mean consider it a lie. It's more of like telling them the truth in a diplomatic way. Uh, but some people or, think to omit something is also lying. Like if you choose to wait to tell someone something. Mm. I think sometimes people they people ask for criticism and they're not ready for it. Oh yeah, yeah. People so like sit there and the demand peace, the truth. Yeah, to keep the peace, you're like, I'm gonna say it in such a way. So that you calm down and later we can talk about this. Yeah, so I yeah. have to say, I, I, I somewhat dis... What's, how, how was the question worded again? 
when trying to get what I want, I do best. Oh, wait, hold on. When trying to get what I want, I do my best to treat other. Oh, wait, hold on. I go back. Something about lying. Yeah. I would not lie, even if it got me what I wanted. I try really hard not to lie, um, especially now as I've getting older. Like when I was younger, you know, there's like a, a, a phase you go through as a kid where you just like lie, right? Yeah, yeah. To like and be then included, to were, keep the conversation yeah, alive. There were a couple of times as an adult, there were like really weird situations. And if my disassociation didn't work, you know, I like played stupid and I obviously wasn't good at it. And it was just like, uh, uh. so like, I would like to think that those are behind me and that I wouldn't lie. But like, life is such a gray area. And at some point, like some of those reasons that I said, like, sometimes you have to tell small white lies. And eventually, if you like, I don't know, need to tell the truth later, I don't think it's that hurtful. Yeah. No, I agree. I've had a lot of people demand the truth or honesty from me and then I give it to them and then they they freak out on me and yeah. never talk to me again or whatever. It's yeah. pretty great. Yeah. So you somewhat agree with that? Yeah. Okay. All right. So when trying to get what I want... I do my best to treat other people fairly and kindly. Yeah, completely agree. Completely. All right. I use flattery to manipulate people into furthering my own goals. Wow. Uh, I somewhat agree. Nice. I love people who do that like hardcore and they think they're so smart, but it's so painfully obvious what they're doing. Just being douchebags. Yeah. I do it sometimes. Like, I'll like get in line at the grocery store and be like, "Oh, I like your earrings." But I do that be- because I think people in general operate better when they're happy. So, oh yeah, definitely. No, I do the same thing. It's how I get a lot of my customers to relax. It's like, "Oh man, I love that truck," or you know, stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, I usually say I love that truck a lot to most of my customers since I'm a lot lizard. You know, it's just like one of the easiest oh. ways to. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um, oh look another question uh, if my behavior or something I say makes someone suffer emotionally I feel guilty yeah I definitely agree with that alright let's see what we got here let's see what type of fucking psycho you are uh, hold on it's asking for an email but I'm not going to give them mine so let's see here uh, Jim Jones it cool may aid. Have to email them the answer. Do what? Is it going to email that the answer or? Yeah, it says send and go to results. So I'm just typing in Jim Jones Kool Aid at yahoo.com. Okay. The poor person. <laughs> I hope no one has that. They deserve whatever happens if they've got that as an email address. Jim Jones is the dude that, like, killed all those people with Kool-Aid. I know, but, like, there's probably a lot of other Jim Jones that's a common name. Okay, but you don't want to be Jim Jones Kool-Aid at Yahoo.com. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you got all those people who, like, fucking followed uh, that Manson guy around, and they didn't do anything he did, but those people who like like serial killers they're like I like this bad shit cause mm-hmm, I'm different <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I'm not dignifying any of that little response <laughs> my neck. ooh yeah. ooh oh my god okay so out of 64 Oh, wait, hold on. Okay. Oh, God damn it. Hold on. Chat with a licensed therapist online. <laughs> no, because <laughs> they'll science. need a therapist. So you got what they refer to as average sociopathy. Really? So 
Yeah, so 16 is the lowest score you could have got, which would have been below average sociopathy. 64 means you're a sociopath, and you got 27. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Cool. What site did you use to do that? This thing was called minddiagnostics.org, and it's a pretty sloppy, basic site, and it's definitely loosely committed. It's probably garbage. There's one for the Metro UK that I think we should do. Hell yeah. So first question, success is based on survival of the fittest. I am not concerned about the losers. Mm. So I would say neutral because I look at losers as comrades, but I've also embraced that there's not much I can do for them. So I can't care too much. Okay. I find myself in the same kinds of trouble time after time. (laughs) Um, Somewhat disagree, but there's still a few things I sabotage myself pretty consistently (laughs) with. (laughs) Time after time. (laughs) Yeah, dude. (laughs) For me, what's right is whatever I can get away with. Jesus. Um... Disagree entirely. Boop. I'm often bored. (laughs) Um, Pretty much agree, but like closer to neutral. So I'm going to put this in. It's like, you're a psychopath. Stay right where you are. Um, (laughs) And today, I feel justified in doing anything I can get away with to succeed. This is very similar to the one that you asked me. Yeah, that's a little weird too. Like, what the fuck is today's world? It's crazy. Fucking. If I had to say, I don't feel justified doing whatever I need to succeed. Because, I mean, dude, like, I would literally be cutthroat in my industry. (laughs) Let's say disagree, but closer to neutral. Okay. I find that I'm able to pursue one goal for a long time. Hmm. I'm kind of neutral on that. All right. My main purpose in life is getting as many goodies as I can. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> again, like a get a pizza party from the teacher if I do sure. go. And... It's fucking stupid. It's good over over under because I sold enough jump rope for heart people and things. No. I'd say neutral because it's not like I don't like goodies, but. <laughs> I'm not going to, like, do anything again. I don't plan anything very far. Hmm. I mean, yeah, because then the word premeditated gets thrown around the courtroom. Uh, (laughs) Do the next one to the right. Yeah. Making a lot of money is my most important goal. Somewhat disagree. Okay. I quickly lose interest in tasks I start. (laughs) I somewhat agree. (laughs) All right. I let others worry about higher values. My main concern is is with the bottom line. What does that mean? What's the bottom line? What? Okay, whatever. Yeah, no, I'm having a hard time with this too. So, (laughs) yeah, exactly. Who's? Um... (laughs) Let's do neutral, but somewhat agree, I guess. Because, like, I'm a pretty basic person. Most of my problems are due to the fact that other people just don't understand me. (laughs) Oh, God. Hold on. Let me get my Sharpie marker and my fucking duct tape. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. (laughs) Definitely disagree. Um, people who are stupid enough to get ripped off usually deserve it. Disagree. Before I do anything, I carefully consider the possible consequences. Hmm. Neutral. Did you ever say neutral? Because I try to consider, but I don't have a very good... What? What do you say? If you didn't pick neutral, I was going to call you out. 
Because, <laughs> like, I try to, but I, I'm pretty sure I definitely don't consider all the possible consequences because my brain's so tiny. All right. I'll take it. Looking, looking at it for looking myself is... a priority. I mean... Man, who, what, you want to read the questions yourself, man? What? You want to just do the podcast yourself? Huh? What do you mean? Yeah, oh, did I say it. that? Did I read oh, that out loud? I'm sorry. Oh, I thought man. I was thinking it really loud. Mm. Go ahead and read it. <laughs> I already did. Read the fucking question. I'm going to take a nice big sip of this beer. <laughs> okay. Looking out. <laughs> <laughs> From myself <laughs> is my top <laughs> priority. This is the second time this year you've made me inhale beer. <clears throat> That's where it belongs. I'm going to say agree because nobody's in charge of your safety but you. I have been in a lot of shouting matches with other people. I've only ever been in two, so uh, disagree. Hard Wait, disagree. Hard disagree. Okay. I tell other people what they want to hear so that they will do what I want to do. I mean, has anyone disagree. Fucking office? What? I'd say somewhat disagree. Boop. When I get the frustrated, only, what? Go ahead. I was going to say, the only time I ever do that is when I'm dealing with someone who's clearly crazy and I just use their uh, story against them. That's about right. Yeah. Um, when I get frustrated, I often, quote, let off steam, unquote, by blowing my top. <laughs> <laughs> I can see someone taking like, their favorite top, putting it on a dummy on a field, and they just look like, it. Oh, I was thinking of something else, and you know, I don't have a top, you know, being a top myself. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but I mean, if my back was flexible enough, <laughs> I don't want to have a life. <laughs> Fucking answer. <laughs> no, I definitely. Me. I definitely don't do that anymore, so somewhat disagree. I or would be upset what? Neutral. Neutral. I would be upset if my success came at someone else's expense. Uh, neutral. Love is overrated. <laughs> Edgy. Just... Where are you? What? Disagree, because self-love is very important. Ooh, look at you. I often admire a really clever scam. Neutral. <laughs> I make a point of trying not to hurt others in pursuit of my goals. <laughs> Somewhat disagree. My job involves hurting other people, so. Okay. I'm going to start calling you Nick Cage. I enjoy manipulating other people. <laughs> totally. No. I disagree. No, <laughs> <laughs> you bitch. Talk and see my mouth. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm I'm gonna answer this one for you. It's somewhat disagree. <laughs> wow. Because of something you talked to me today about. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I wish we were recording that conversation. I don't. <laughs> I feel bad <laughs> if my words or actions cause someone else to feel emotional pain. Mm, somewhat disagree. Even if I were trying very hard to sell something, I wouldn't lie about it. Some would agree. Cheating is not justified because it is unfair to others. Definitely agree. You have completed the personality test. Were your answers accurate and can they be 
use for research? Yeah, dog, let's go. Hell no, I lied. <laughs> <laughs> Would you be willing to answer a few more questions for our research? Sure. I mean, yeah, fuck it, let's go. It has yeah, anything to do with dildos, I'm be mad. I hope it's dildos. Thank you for agreeing to complete the optional survey. We are conducting research on how people think about words, and your data will be helpful. Okay. Hmm. In, in row. In row? That says in row. Okay. What does the above word in red sound like it should mean? Hmm. They don't have a neutral thing? It just says good or bad? I think, in my opinion, in row sounds like it's probably a bad word. It feels good to me, like introduction or in... In in rope prize. <laughs> I'm gonna say good. But it's bad. But they colored it red because they want you to think it's bad. They're fucking playing games. I'm gonna say good. Wow. Fuck up their data. What does <laughs> the above red sound like it should mean? Je- Jesku? <laughs> crazy or sane? Probably crazy, I guess. It's like a French word for crazy. Tour. <laughs> what does the above word in sound like? It should mean large or small. I was thinking like, whatever. What do you think? Small. But I don't know. You answered the last two. Do you want to? Fuck you. Just want to fucking do this. Do it. I'm gonna answer this one. What does the above word in red sound? Fucking sophisticated. Yeah. Bore me. <laughs> Barum. I guess. Kareem. I don't know. Me, uh, the meme, the meme, boring, boring. I'd say normal. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't read the last one. But <laughs> fucky. Uh, what does the above word in red sound? It should mean colorful or monochrome, and it's infa. I'm gonna say colorful. Colorful. Yeah, me too. Kimbo Sagafi. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Sounds expensive as fuck. Yeah, it do. <laughs> Binor. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds like neither of these things. Binor. Yeah, it sounds like lukewarm, but I guess we'll go with cold. Yeah. <clears throat> Are you all right there? Your, your mouse is having a fucking seizure over there. <laughs> <laughs> now it's gone across the screen. <laughs> Vogel is definitely lewd. <laughs> Undefined? What? I think that's an actual word, isn't it? Yeah. Jeez, Should, I, is I think that I've seen that. Or logical? I say logical. I think, I think undefined means logical. Okay. What does the above word in red sound like? Level or I tilted? Think it, I think it sounds tilted. Film. <laughs> Film. I'd say that's thin. Oh, I was going to say thick. Interesting. Alpha pengu. Alpha pengu. No, no. Above word in red sound like it should mean many, Pain definitely. Many. Beaver. <laughs> what does Pain. the above <laughs> Angry, Angry beaver. Angry beaver. <laughs> You want to see the angry beef? <laughs> I sneeze and now my nose is stuffy. What is going on here? What isn't a sneeze supposed to clear your nose? Mm hmm. Well, it didn't, it did the exact opposite. Maybe you've got a bunch of uh, residue from the NyQuil that you snorted. Oh, that might be it. Um, what does a uh, Hevo Panar? Hevo Panar. That doesn't sound like wet or dry. That is not either. That's like. That's like a plane of existence in the world of Adar, Lord of the Rings. Well, I, I think logically, if your Panar is hevoing, I'm, I'm thinking wet. That sounds like a wet situation to me. Tahe. <laughs> I'm going to say, angels, have you seen what angels are supposed to be? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, Tahe that sounds that. scary. Yeah. Tahe with that. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna say healthy because it sounds like liquor. Liquor, <laughs> yeah, liquor's healthy, not sick. Yeah, yeah. Good part. golf. Jolf. Oh, um, yeah, fast Jolf. slow. Think of That's it, a, a jaunt. Jolf sounds jolf. like 
Jolf sounds like a slow word to me. Warp. Like, I was trying is to go warp, up the stairs. Does warp mean red or blue? <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, what shade of blue? I want to know what they're what they're learning from this. <laughs> Nothing, dude. The fucking bullshit. <laughs> I finish this and it's just like stay where you are. Yeah, this test is just to keep you on their site long enough for them to make sure you get wanna cry and my doom put in your fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think warp is going to be red because that's the sound a laser makes and lasers are red in all the cartoons. That's a terrible explanation. Yeah, dude. I don't give a fuck. Tequite. Tequite. That's <laughs> definitely the start of something, not the end of something. Befog. Befog. Scandalous. Definitely. Yeah, that's definitely scandalous. We, yeah. we had this one before, right? Donkey. Yeah. I'd say that's a friendly word. I was going to say, awesome. Comp. <laughs> that's dirty. <laughs> Fengent. Fengent. No, Fengent. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Uh, uh, Fengent. Uh, Is English your yeah. native language? Yes. Have you provided accurate data? I don't know. Fucking. <laughs> Did you lie about Fengit? What does this mean? Okay, hold on. You've completed the Levents and self report. Your scale range from one low to five. Score of primary psychopathy has been calculated as a 2.6, which is actually pretty high on the scale of one to five. Primary psychopathy is effective aspects of psychopathy, a lack of empathy for other people and tolerance for antisocial orientations. Your score from secondary psychopathy has been calculated as a 2.6. Secondary psychopathy is the antisocial aspects of uh, psychopathy, rule-breaking, and lack of effort towards socially rewarded behavior. With two scores, results of LSRP plotted. Below is the distribution of how other people who have taken this test scored. Look at those people high to the right. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Mar. I just got to say this. Now, walk with me on this one, okay? We're higher than 54% of people on the test. That's, that's interesting. Nice. Well, also, here's the other thing, though. This is going to blow your mind. So, we got 2.6, which is a little more than half. And yeah. there was two of us taking the test. Yeah, so, but I only answered one of your questions. Mm, sure. Uh huh. Um, fuck you. You watched the whole time. Piece of shit. Mathematically, m- mathematically, this could mean that one of us is a total psycho and the other one's just a little psycho. I actually want to answer it the way I want to. Oh, yeah. Really quick. Oh, Do shit. it. Explain to the class where you drew your conclusions. Um, I, wish I, I wish I could take control of your mouse and fuck it up, though. No, fuck you, dude. We can't do shit. Even if you could, you wouldn't. You, no. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> what? No more. No, oh, really? Yeah, I'm not going to do the thing. No. Do we got one more test or what's up? Yeah, I can. Mm. I can do a BuzzFeed test since we've just gone into the realm of jokes. Maybe. Sorry, I thought it would be a good opportunity to sneak a bite of my Texas nugget because I thought you were going to take the test. Mm. No, uh, I realized there's no way to actually. No shit. Mm. Mm. I can hit well. the back one a bunch of times and I'm not about to do that. I don't yeah. want to see the kid anymore. <laughs> Well, now you guys get an ASMR of meeting yeah, some I'm chicken dying. nuggets. Hey guys, we've been gone for two years. Listen to us take a psycho- psychopathy to talk about any of any. Yeah, dude. Listen to me eat snacks and drink what is definitely an adult beverage. <clears throat> I'm not some type of child over here with like nuggets and juice or chocolate milk. I'm a grown ass man. Uh-huh. Yep. 
All right, let's see what we got here. Start the test. Oh, wait, no, this is the test you just did. God damn it. The boo box. The box. <laughs> the boo box. The box. <laughs> okay, so. Am I a psycho test? Am I a psycho player? Yo, y'all need to fucking yamate, okay? <laughs> y'all need to just yamate right quick, okay? <laughs> y'all need to choco mate for one fucking second. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I've got this. Psychopath test. Am I a psychopath? First question. Are you a psychopath? <laughs> wow. Yes. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I think you failed that, but here we go. Um, <laughs> glib and superficial, insecure, comma, shallow. Wait, okay, hold on. I need to read the instructions. I Do think. you know how to read? No, I read that, but hold on. Okay. Instructions. The psychopath test contains 20 questions used to rate a person's psychopathic or antisocial tendencies. Rate each personality trait and how it applies to you. Okay. Wow. All right. So, are you insecure and shallow? Does not apply. Applies to some extent. Applies perfectly. I mean, everyone's a little insecure, but they throw shallow in there at the same time. So. Right. That's so weird. So it's I guess they're asking, are you mm. insecure about the shallow aspects of you, like your appearance and such? Yeah. A little bit. Don't look at me. <laughs> 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 Cause I am beautiful. I am beautiful. What he sing? pie. Oh. Okay. Do you have an exaggeratedly high estimation of yourself? I don't know. I mean, I hold myself to high expectations, but estimation pretty, feels like a totally different ballgame. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you don't fancy yourself and think you're the best ever. Like, you're not one of those people that's like, my spirit animal is a fucking dragon, even though I can't <laughs> one set up, you know? In another life, I was Queen Nefertiti. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, that's not me. You're like, man, if I was reincarnated, I'd remember shoveling shit and sleeping with a pig. <laughs> I remember when I was reincarnated. Okay. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Uh, she's okay. totally crazy. Uh... Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to say applies to some extent because you're not like suicidal, but you're, you don't think you're a legend either. Yeah. So basically, he's asking if you think you're if you think you're Kyle or not. Ooh, the legend, <laughs> the man, the Old myth. Black <laughs> I saw the I, legend yesterday. I, I, don't think I don't think we've told that story on this podcast yet. Have I we? believe we did. I believe we have. Oh God, it's beautiful. If anyone who's I listening, guess. which no one sends us emails, but if anyone's listening and we haven't told the story, email us. Why don't you? Fucking, you know what? Meet me in the parking lot. Fight you. Yeah, dude, we still got the ship. Oh. <laughs> We're going to plunge you into sin and error and then peg the shit. We're going to fucking you. peg some shit, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to commission someone to draw him. A, uh, ship a ship pegging the, the globe? Yeah. Sounds like yeah. a good time. Yeah, I'm going to be put on a watch list for sure, but I'm going to do it. Um. <sighs> So, yeah, I'm going to say, actually, I'm going to say it doesn't apply because you're pretty humble. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're definitely pretty humble, especially looking at the track record of people you thought you would date because you're too fucking humble. <laughs> Everybody needs love, Tyler. <laughs> How's that working? Um, and apparently, toads need love. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, toads don't away. turn into princes, Mar. <laughs> it's the frogs. I forgot. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the colorful frogs from the rainforest, particularly. Um, <laughs> so, are you prone to boredom? Yes. Yes. Okay. Are you a pathological liar? <laughs> oh, wait, no, hold on. <laughs> it's so funny is that if I said no, does that mean I'm like, could I be lying? Ooh. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so, so this says pathological lying, but in parentheses next to it as an explanation, it says, I lie to make things go more smoothly. Oh, fuck. It does seem to contradict, but we'll go with the parentheses for all of these. I'm tired of this other shit. Because they're using words I don't think they know what they mean. Fucking, Ooh. what they say? Grandiose. Or the other one was glib and superficial. Yeah, glib definitely means like you're like a posh ass bitch that has a nanny that watches your kids even though you don't have a job. <laughs> right, and all this said was insecure or shallow on, next to it for parentheses. So the, ah, the fucking idiots. Um sure. Whoever made this test is a fucking psychopath. Tell you what. Sick. Maybe they're just so, looking for a date. Maybe they'll send us that little emoji. It's got the two fingers touching. It's like, well, maybe. Mm -hmm. We can space yeah. dock if you want. <laughs> it's been a while since I've had a proper space dock. Um, well, healthyplace.com. Healthyplace.com. If you're DTF, email us. I'll get back to you. <laughs> no, you're not using our email to get oh. the hot dickens. Mm. <laughs> Hot Dawkins. Hot Dawkins. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, I threw a copy of Christmas Carol in the fire. That was Hot Dickens. <laughs> uh, it hurts. Ask the next question. Yeah, okay. okay so do you everything. lie? Do you lie to make things go more smoothly? Yeah. Yeah. Who the yeah, fuck I do doesn't? That. I do that too. Yeah, exactly. Like, if it's not important, but like someone's hung up, I'll just like whatever they presumed, I'll just say, yes, that's what it is. Whatever. Let's move on. Yeah. Or like if someone wants to believe rumors about me instead of fucking growing a pair of balls and talking to me, then I'm like, you know what? Believe the rumors and get the fuck out of my life. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, do you cheat and manipulate people? <laughs> It's a bold fucking question. <laughs> right, like, what's the manipulative way to answer to. this? It just depends on people's perceptions, I guess. There you go. Okay. Do you lack remorse or guilt? No. Dang. I'd probably okay. get more sleep at night if I didn't remember all the things that I was upset about. That's true. That is true. A clean conscience is just a sign of a poor memory, isn't it? Mm -hmm. all right <clears throat> so do you feel superficial emotional responsiveness in other words you rarely connect with others emotionally no i yes. i connect i cry yeah. when i see a cute bird because i think about its life and life is for wild animals i'm yeah i'm definitely the opposite of that for real I think I care more about animals than people, but that's a story for another time. <laughs> There's a dude in a van right now, like, I knew it. <laughs> Move in. Uh, anyways, mm. um, do you have callousness and lack of empathy? I mean, fucking sometimes. You ever fucking get woken up? <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think we're going to ignore that because that's pretty basic human. <laughs> okay, so. Are you able to work, but instead choose to live off others? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, because if I did, I'd be married to an old rich close to his fucking death right now. Was you know, honestly, I've been considering that lately. <clears throat> Good luck. Jeff Bezos is still pretty young. <laughs> well, you know. I'm pretty humble. I think I might just go for a millionaire instead of a billionaire. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> Why have billions when you could have millions? <laughs> oh my god! 
Okay. Oh my god. I have poor control over my behavior. I can be short tempered, hot headed, suddenly irritable, annoyed, and or impatient. Not normally. Okay, so you're not most Robert Downey Jr. characters. Got it. Cool. Okay. Are you sexually promiscuous, Mar? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not even sexual. Sexually. I'm not even sexually. <laughs> you're not even a real journalism? I'm not even a real journalism there. I said it. That's yeah. right. Now, if they said... If they said promiscuously Shrek-sual, I would say. Like, Shrek is love. Shrek is love. Oh, my God. So, um... <laughs> okay. Whoa, fuck. So, as far as early behavioral problems go, under the age of 12, did you have any serious behavioral problems such as Persistent lying, cheating, theft, fire setting, <laughs> cruelty to animals, what, what details? drug use, vandalism, violence, bullying, <laughs> running away from home, and or promiscuous sex. <laughs> the person just sounds like they need a fucking hug, man. Oh my god. So they, they asked if you were doing any of that laundry list. Under I mean, I stole a lot. I will say as a kid, I stole. Okay. All right. Come but I, I don't know, like, to the level of I stole things is yeah. up there with fire or promiscuous sex, especially under the age of 12. <laughs> yeah, dude. Damn. Oh, holy shit. Like, they basically just asked you if you're the Hollywood elite, I guess. <laughs> and... <laughs> or maybe a tool of. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, uh, let's see here. Lack of realistic long-term goals. So do you never give much serious thought to the future? That's what keeps me up at night is the future. I feel like Squidward yeah. when he's like, future. <laughs> oh, man. I can't get over it. And it never, it happens every day. Yeah. I wake up and that is technically the future. And I'm like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? A center for ants? What is this? Um, ants? <laughs> okay. I'm impulsive. I do not think before I act. I mean, I'm relatively impulsive. Like, if I'm standing so it's like, what's behind that door? And people are yeah. like, why would you do that? It was like, door question mark? For real. I was in a Panera. I was in line. And someone was like, I like these wall panels. And I was like, I think they're doors. And she's like, no, they're not. And then I pressed on the panel. I opened it. I was like, there's cleaning supplies back there. She's like, what are you doing? And I was like, we wanted to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's my right God. There. You just do it. <laughs> I fucking love that. <laughs> Holy shit. It was, it was just like when I opened the car door a lot as a kid. Because I, I wanted to see how fast the road was going. <laughs> I, will, I will say to a certain extent I am impulsive <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to hold on to that and next time we're in the bank I'm going to be like they don't keep money in that big round door okay well <laughs> you know there's some reasoning that goes to that into that line of thought alright <laughs> you're not going to be like hey Mallory what's, what's in that big uh, Brinks truck <laughs> I don't know. I'm that guy carries a shotgun, I think. You want to find out? <laughs> Is that big black thing a doorbell on there? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm not going to do that. I think they like, just deliver... Like simple things. Like if People are like, I wonder. I'm like, if it's simple as pulling a lever, it doesn't... Like, hitting a panel on the door of the air shouldn't make it explode or fall apart. Hmm. If someone built that, they've got some flawed physical security plans for the building and need to rethink all of their blueprints. Nice. Are you irresponsible? I mean, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> so you have little to no sense of duty, loyalty to family, friends, etc. A main okay. gauge of behavior that God, puts damn. others at risk. No, I guess I'm not irresponsible. 
Yeah, you're you're pretty you're you're pretty you're you're a bit of a goody two shoes. <laughs> Mar, you wouldn't you wouldn't make it out here on these small fucking streets. Sure. <laughs> we going hard out here. Totally. I happen to be quite gangsta. Anyways. Holy shit. <laughs> Ooh, I burnt my tongue on some mayonnaise. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Mayonnaise is too spicy. There's some whores in this house. <laughs> the contents of this residential dwelling <laughs> consists <laughs> of some loose women. Anyways. <laughs> Do you make excuses or rationalize behavior um, basically like blaming others or certain circumstances for your responsibilities? Mm, no. Yeah, I don't think so. Again, you're a goody two-shoes. Jesus Christ, how does that make me... That makes me a normal fucking human. Sure it does. And, Holy oh, shit. Damn it. <laughs> okay, so... Do you have any... Anyone else who's listening, feel my frustration. <laughs> Do you have many short-term marital oh, relationships? I say short, short. And I was like, I've got three. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have many short-term marital relationships? A score of two applies to individuals who have had <laughs> three or more of these relationships before Every the Every relationship age. I've ever been in has been four years or longer. Yeah. I'm going to definitely answer that. Plus, I've never been married. Yeah. So, juvenile delinquency. Do you have a history of serious antisocial behavior from the age of 17 and younger? Have you had a formal contact with the criminal justice system, perhaps? Did you? No, but I was going to reference that video. (laughs) And they're like, where's Mallory? I'm the only kid. And Karen (laughs) turns around and zooms in the video camera, and I'm swing instead of swinging i'm just like violently kicking my legs and she goes mallory and i stop moving and i don't turn around to look at her she's like and i'm like (sighs) (laughs) she's like what are you doing and i just i never answer i just sit there i'm like i've been spotted (laughs) (laughs) they caught you trying to kick the ghost to death Um, (laughs) i was summoning alistar (laughs) <laughs> you're <laughs> ripping your shadow from your body. <laughs> Little so did they I'm gonna know say their their safety circle. What? I'm gonna say the delinquency applies to a certain extent because I had teachers that asked me if I was related to you, and I all doughy eyed and innocently was like, "Yeah," and then they kicked me out of class. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that bad. Sure. Okay. I'll have to remember that while I'm sitting there taking the answer sheet to the video and trying to hear the video from the hallway. Look, their perception of me is not my fault. <laughs> it is your fault, though. <laughs> I don't, I'm don't. i going to be honest with you. I don't know what I actually did to make them so mad. Dude, you were, you were... How do I say this without being too abrasive? Oh, here we go. You were Charizard from the Pokemon <laughs> movie. It's because I couldn't be that at home. <laughs> what I find interesting is that if I was that bad, why didn't they ever call mom and dad? They were scared of you and mom. <laughs> <laughs> no, they probably were scared of mom, though. Oh, dude, they it got to the point where... I off the fucking pavement. They're like, no, that's fine. It's whatever. Yeah, dude. It got to the point where I just started threatening the vice principal that was picking on me. And I was like, you know so-and-so? That's my mom. And they were like, oh, fuck. And I was like, get the fuck out of my way. She's the lady who killed that guy at Wayne. Yeah. Yeah, dude. She's the guy who killed ate the a man. She ate the soul of the bus driver. <laughs> <laughs> what is it in Amazing World of Gumball where she sucks the soul out of the guy who's like, yeah, um, there's yeah. no rules. There's no rules, and she's like, <laughs> "Yeah, dude." I mean, when you got to wrestle four kids that all have like hardcore personality issues. Yeah, you know, protect them babies. Ooh, nice try, fed boys. Ooh. Next question: I violated conditions of my probation, parole, bail, or restraining order. 
Um, if applies, I escape from an institution, a major violation, or escape warrants. Okay, so question about the major institution. When I escape CCD, does that count? <laughs> Ooh, that was kind of like jail, wasn't it? A little bit. Mm, okay. What Criminal... do the zebras do? Oh, God. Yeah. We've no. told that story. Uh, yeah, we did. My ass used to just run and be like, yo, I got to use the restroom. And then I'll just hide in the church until that shit was over. Oh, dude, I um, just went to the graveyard, dude. That's where I had more fun anyway. Graveyards are sick as fuck. Hmm. Okay. Note to self. These tests are definitely Note to not self, I miss you terribly. This is what we call a dream. Mm. Come back to me, back to me, to oh, me. God. You're killing me over here with this. You know, you do. You kill me well. <laughs> you kill me. <laughs> Wait, we already did an emo episode. God damn it. Okay. It doesn't matter. It's not dead. <laughs> I mean, it's dead inside, but it's not dead. Oh, my God. In adulthood, I've been charged with many different types of crimes. No. All right. Are you a robot? <laughs> No. No, that's that's just the <laughs> that's just the caption. Oh okay. I mean yes. I'm a human. Oh, so it asked me if I'm a robot and I clicked the, the check mark. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. And then I hit submit and it said there's an error with the caption. Because <laughs> they're like, you know you're a robot. We heard your voice, dude. Don't lie. Yeah, dude, I think they did hear the voice. You're fucking lying to me. This is insane. This is my third attempt. Let's see what we got. Capture validation error. Unknown. Capture session ID. Contact the site administrator for this problem if this problem persists. Because the images aren't showing up. They ask you to like click on a bunch of things that have box or cars in them. Mm, it's not showing up. Damn, that's some crazy shit. Can you fix it? I'm trying to. Let me uh, pop it onto the desktop version of the site. Continue. I hope that doesn't resubmit the whole test. Oh, cool. That's good. All right. Capture. Not a robot. I thought that was a weird question for psychopathy. Well, my hands are tied. I, I can't fix this. Man, this is some bullshit. Send me the yeah, link to just... Discord. We just wasted all that time. No, send me the link through Discord. Okay, we send you the link through Discord. I'm gonna fucking fuck this shit up. Kill it. <sighs> oh god, I forgot that Craig shows up as another entity and it was showing like someone else was on the chat. And I got mm -hmm. the, I got the creepy Stranger Things music in my head. I was like, oh god. <laughs> oh man, it wiped, it wiped everything. Son of a biscuit. Oh, I'm just answering this really quick. You can sing some music if you need to. Well, I was just going to have another Texas nugget and some chocolate milk. No, you got to entertain the people. Ooh, edit. Okay, I'll do it. Son of a bitch. Dance. Dance. Dance, fucker. Dance. You never <laughs> had it. <laughs> got him. Oh, my God. That guy sounds just like Weird Al, though, for real. Mm. That is very true. You know who else sounds like Weird Al? Uh, Weird Al. Yeah, that's true. How did I know? That's where the fuck you were going. Because we went to one of his concerts, and I just kept thinking, man, this guy <laughs> sounds familiar. <laughs> you know what? Maybe you should eat those chicken nuggets. I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. <clears throat> Let me tell you what. Fucking sexual promiscuity. <laughs> From Misky Whisker, you teasing me. You something you got what I need. Is that really what they said? Portato, huh? That I just I never knew the lyrics to that song. Well, I couldn't listen to it long enough to understand. What's that stupid song she sings? So she's like, in the day, and the and I was huh? and I'm like, shut the fuck up. I can't listen. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to be alive anymore. 
Nice. I like that version. Lack of realistic long-term goals. <laughs> oh, but that's a realistic. That's totally different than what's in the. Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. The, yeah, this is. Yeah, those parentheses contradict the fuck out of the question. So, like I said, whoever made this test is a psychopath. Very yeah. nice. Well, hey guys, uh, we have no real explanation as to why we haven't posted. Well, I don't know. Just uh, be okay with that. And uh, if you want to email us, you know our email. It's at socialish69420 at gmail.com. Uh, yeah. We will be posting more here soon. We might be changing a little bit of the format of the actual podcast itself. Um, we don't do a lot of like promoting, so not a lot of people listen to this. So if you know people who like to like waste their time or listen to two idiots talk, um it'd be really cool if you could like forward us <laughs> hell yeah for your friends That's um, pretty true. um we do eventually really want to become really interactive with like the crowd we for a while we were doing stuff with instagram and it was okay but a lot of the people who were answering weren't listening to the show so they never really heard what happened with their answers and stuff so um yeah yeah actually i think next round what we'll do is i actually did a big this or that quiz I got a bunch of answers from people and we can we can go through that. Um yeah, stay safe out there. Uh it's 2021, uh, which is just the new save file for 2020. Uh <laughs> pretty much. Once the ball dropped, I just heard this huge voice in the sky, tutorial ended. So, I don't know. <laughs> um yeah, we, we apologize for the silence. Um there's a lot that's been going on. Please be sure to check out our individual Instagrams. We've got Marmalade Tar Pit. We've got Malware 5000. Um, we've got a couple other sites and stuff. Uh, we have taken down our Squarespace site. It sh should be coming down soon. But we do have our YouTube site as well, which is uh, Marmalade Tar Pit on YouTube. And you'll see some of our podcast entries there as well and on Spotify. Yes. So, yes. um, yeah, do us a favor and listen to me fry my voice like I'm doing right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> fucking, I don't know, have a good time. Send us some shit so we can talk about stuff. God damn. Yeah. But there is, um, there's just going to be a bunch of shit posts in the meantime. Um, the shit posting is going to be pretty great. <clears throat> Bye, guys. It's going to be better than it's been. Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't fucking know. <laughs>